welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel in this practical video i will guide you for steel reinforcement details in the construction of this rcc slab which covered area is about 8000 square feet guys you can see clearly this is slab reinforcement details you can see this is floor beam size is 12 by 18 inches with six numbers of steel rods four at the bottom three at the top on the other side guys you can see they provided laping which length is about six inches or less than six inches so this is one of the big mistake in the construction of this rcc slab already they provided laping length at the distance of l by four where we have negative bending moment negative bending moment where we have there we have more chances of cracks to resist cracks we will provide uh, to resist cracks we should provide crank bar or extra steel rods instead of this they provided laping guys you can see on both sides the other mistake guys you can see the pvc pipe they provided inside rcc column so this is the second big mistake on the other side you can see the floor beam the spacing of stirrups are maximum which is about nine inches and this beam is designed for four story commercial building if you see hooks are bent on 90 degree length of the hooks are less than nine inches spacing of main bars and distribution bars guys you can see which is six by nine inches this is singly mesh you can see the concrete cover which is provided thickness is 25 millimeter which is normally you can use for this slab or from the isr aci concrete cover should not be less than 25 millimeter you can see guys this is the other beam and you can see the pvc pipe they runs inside the column so this is not good that's why because it can reduce the concrete cover also concrete volume in this rcc column so therefore they will face more problems in this construction next guys you can see they provided two extra three extra steel rods two are side bars the other one is at the middle at the distance of l by four in this beam but at the distance of l by four the spacing of the stirrup should be closely from the reference of aci and is american concrete institute are indian standard codes guys you can see they provided lapping on both sides left and right side where we should provide extra steel rods are crank bar or you can say bent top bar on the other side you can see the cantilever beam is being extended which length is about two feet that's why on the top of that they will provide cantilever slab look here this is singly mesh spacing is six by nine inches on the top of this they will provide the other mesh that is called doubly mesh this is eight thousand square feet 